got my package. I got it today in the mail. It came really quickly. We paid for it on Sunday and it came in the mail. So let's check this out, guys. Right. Let's see, let's unbox this. Mm, I got a little. Easy as pie. There you go, $4.99. I paid for this one. Toys R Us had it for $12. Midtown Comics had it for $10. I got it for $4.99, people. That's the Smog Monster Hedora for you. Maybe that awesomeness. Wow. And what do we have here? Oh, yeah. This is the boy I was waiting for all this time. This is the one I really wanted. Uh, Godzilla 2000, people. Godzilla 2000. Now, I'm really excited that I'm picking this one up because I really, really wanted to get Godzilla 2000 back, back when I first saw him, but unfortunately I didn't. Kind of like the Mecha Godzilla, I kind of held off. Uh, now that this guy is really rare, I'm really happy to pick it up. I couldn't find him in Toys R Us, but I found him on eBay, and I only paid $9.99 for him. Yep, alright, yeah. Yeah! Alright people, let's save the best for last and get Hedora out of the package first. Now, this is my first and only Hedora figurine I ever um, gotten. Uh, this is the Smog Monster, and have a look at that guy. He looks gross, but that's the point. He's supposed to look gross. He's not your cutest monster. He's ugly. He's made of smog, pollution, all that good stuff. He's uh, made of a uh, soft vinyl on the top. As you can see, I'm able to squeeze him, which is great because um, the actual monster is kind of squishy. Yeah, look at him. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Gotta love the detail, um, especially on his eyes. I mean, look, he just looks freaky, this dude. Um, he's absolutely awesome, though. The detail on his um, ripples and his nasty, mushy body, it's its really good. See, there's a seal there. Uh, see the head, had all the little cracks and marks to show that he dries up after a while, especially on the top. On the bottom, as you can see, a Bandai creation. He's got his tail. Oh, wow. One minor gripe about the figurine. Oh, well, before I get to that, um, he has a more tougher vinyl feel in the middle, or around the middle. So he's not as squishy in there, but he's still kind of squishy. Anyways, there. There's uh, Hedora. That's all he really does, to be honest. He doesn't articulate at all. He's got no articulation. He's just there to squishy. Uh, he's there to pose for you. And he's pretty awesome. I, I think he looks fantastic, to be honest. Let's put him next to uh, Godzilla 68. The same movie they both start in. Hmm. Let's see, size. Size. He's smaller than Godzilla, but not in the movie. He's actually bigger than Godzilla, which is ironic considering that the Godzilla 68 figurine is taller. But oh well, big deal, right? They're gonna go side by side anyways. Fantastic. Now that he's done, let's move on to G2000, Godzilla Millennium. Oh, I'm really happy I got this guy. Oh, if you have no idea. This is probably the only, the first big Godzilla 2000 figurine I've ever gotten. Let's get this guy out of his package. Ah, breakthrough. Godzilla unleashed. Yes, that was corny. Anyways, here we have it. There he is. Looks beautiful. Now as you can see in macro settings, you can see all the good details. This is really, really awesome. All the skin details you can see is perfect. I mean, 
his arms, his shoulders, the bumps, everything is accurate movie wise. Let's see his chest, his neck, his spines look fantastic too as well. Um, we'll stop seeing fantastic ready. Look at those spines, they're purple. Just like in the movie, yeah, Godzilla's spines were actually purple, and he was green in this movie. He looks fantastic. Oh, God, stop saying fantastic. The spines are really well done, down to the nitty-gritty details, as you can see. He's got a lot of spines. He's also made of a soft vinyl, but it's not too soft. It's kind of like the rest of the Godzilla figurines in the lineup. Uh, he's actually pretty tough to squeeze. Yeah, he's not squishy at all. Not here. Arms articulate. See? And his legs articulate as well. I'm not a big fan of twisting dumb 360 wise. That really pisses me off, so I'm not going to do it for this one. Let's see his feet. He's got one toe sticking up, which is pretty cool. I mean, his face is gorgeous. Just look at his face. He looks like he's snarling, ready to fight Orga. Beautiful. Detail on the mouth is really well done as well. As you can see. Nothing but praise for this figurine. Oh, wait a minute. Let's get to the tail first. Right. The reason why I held off on buying this figure in the first place back last year was because the tail was really, really small. I wasn't a fan of it. Godzilla's 2000s tail is way bigger than this. Of course, they did this just to make it fit, fit in the box. So, um, yeah, like I said in the last video, I hate that crap. But, oh well, what can you do, right? One thing is for certain is that he has a really awesome pose. He looks uh, ready to bite, uh, fight. My bad. He does actually look ready to bite, actually. So, um, yeah, he's got a really combat-ready pose, like he's ready to take on anything. He looks beautiful. I'm really happy I picked this one up. Godzilla 2000 has to be one of my favorite Godzilla suits. And, as you can see, it's nicely replicated here. Very awesome. I think it's beautiful. Definitely worth the money. I paid $20 for both of these combined, shipping and handling included, and I'm really, really satisfied with this purchase. These two Godzilla figurines well, was just a steal at that price, to be honest. I mean, I already said that, didn't I? But to be honest, it, it, just buying those two for $9.99, considering that each you could pay for, um, each goes for around $12.99, like $12, $13, and Toys R Us is pretty expensive, especially for this guy. I mean, he just doesn't do much, but he's awesome, and so is Godzilla 2000, and I'm really happy I picked these two up. And I'm glad you watched this video. Thanks for watching. So there you have it. I pretty much have everybody in the film lined up in this series. Uh, I'm really happy about the Mecha Godzilla. I'm actually happy about all of them. I think they all look fantastic. Bandai Creation really came a long way since their first series. And uh, they knocked these all out of the ballpark. I'm still thinking about getting the other Godzilla that I missed. The big one. But we'll just have to wait and see. But all in all, the family's all here. Thank <laughs> you.